While President Muhammadu Buhari was campaigning to be elected President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, he did declare at Chatham House, London, that if elected president, he would prioritize the fight against corruption as well as insecurity and unemployment. To commemorate this year's International Day for Anti-Corruption in Nigeria, coalition of civil societies staged a protest march to the National Assembly, insisting that the process of recovering of looted funds be made transparent and accountable. Jai Gaskia is the spokesperson for the coalition. We insist that it must live up to his electoral promises of fighting corruption and actually fighting corruption. We insist that all looted funds must be recovered. But we also insist that the process of recovery of the looted funds must also be transparent. The group who were seen carrying placards with inscriptions such as Stop the Financial Bleeding Now, put an end to illicit financial flow from Africa, maintained that citizens has the responsibility of holding the government accountable to its electoral promises. We want to know what is the process put in place, where in, in what account are these uh, looted funds being uh, put into, what is the amount that, uh, that is being recovered, who is returning what, and what else is outstanding, and then what do we intend to do with the looted and recovered funds. Wachuku Kinsley is a parliamentary consultant. He says the government must look beyond just monetary terms in the course of fighting corruption. It's corruption. Because you discover that you have a lot of things to do. The files are there, the problems are there, the person is living the thing and is doing something else. At the end of the day, holistically, you discover that national productivity level will be low. When you put all this together, if you go to hospitals, those things are there. People are not doing their job the way they should do it. Since the passage of the United Nations Convention Against Corruption on 31st of October 2003, the International Anti Corruption Day has been observed annually. In Abuja, Godwin Amundi, Liberty News.